Unit 1. Reporting and other legal obligations. This chapter provides an explanation of all relevant laws governing business operations in Cyprus as well as legal obligations to which business entities are subject. The applicable laws concerning taxation and reporting are presented in the section tax system. Cyprus is an EU member state. Hence, all EU regulations are in force in this country, while the EU directives are covered by the national legislation. As a former British colony, Cyprus law is based on English common law and was amended in recent years aligning with European Union requirements. The legal and regulatory system of Cyprus is considered to be one of the most favourable in Europe, while at the same time being fully compliant with the EU, the Financial Action Task Force on Money Laundering FATF, the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, and the Financial Stability Forum. The incorporation, management and corporate reporting requirements of Cyprus companies are governed by the company's law, CAP, 113. You can find the law here and in the CY law portal here all the amended versions in Greek. In addition, you can find all related laws in the web portal of the ROC here. Depending on the activities of a company, other legislation may set additional requirements. Also, operators in certain sectors require the approval of a specific regulatory body before engaging in a particular activity. Ongoing compliance with the relevant regulatory authorities' mandatory regulations and best practice guidelines is required. Its current version is labeled CAP 113. This law governs the incorporation, management and corporate reporting requirements of Cyprus companies. A company in Cyprus is also governed by its memorandum and the Articles of Association, provided that these have been set in accordance to the various provisions, rights or restrictions, mentioned in the company's law, CAP 113. All companies, especially those involved in large transactions, must be aware of, and adhere to, competition laws. The laws and regulation for setting up and administering Cypriot entities are the same for foreign investors carrying on international business activities as they are for local investors. In Cyprus, the protection of personal data is regulated by the General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, EU. 2016-679, the regulation in EU law on data protection and privacy for all individuals within the European Union EU, and the European Economic Area EEA. The General Data Protection Regulation came into force on 25 May, 2018. The text of the GDPR is available in all EU languages on the European Commission website and in PDF format by clicking here. In Cyprus, the central government, through the Ministry of Labour and Social Insurance, deals with the policy on safety and health at work. For this purpose, the above-mentioned ministry has assigned the duties of the implementation of this policy to one of its departments, namely the Department of Labour Inspection. The role of the Department of Labour Inspection in the field of safety and health at work is thus the safeguarding of appropriate and adequate levels of safety and health at work for the elimination or drastic reduction of work accidents and occupational diseases and the protection of the public against risks arising from work activities. The provisions regulating the safety and health of the employees at their workplaces are listed in the Safety and Health at Work Laws of 1996 to N2 of 2015. The law provides for securing the safety, health and welfare of persons at work in all sectors of economic activity and for the protection of any other persons against risks to safety and health in connection with the actions and activities of persons at work. You can find the relevant legislation here. Companies in Cyprus are obligated to conduct reporting in accordance with the applicable laws and regulations. 
an annual return shall be submitted by every company having a share capital, once at least in every year, make a return containing concerning the registered office of the company, registers of members and debenture holders, shares and debentures, indebtedness, past and present members and directors and secretary. If a company fails to comply with this section, the company and every officer of the company who is in default shall be liable to a default fine. Every company not having a share capital shall, once at least in every calendar year, make a return stating a. the address of the registered office of the company b. in a case in which the register of members is, under the provisions of this law, kept elsewhere than at that office, the address of the place where it is kept c. in a case in which any register of holders of debentures of the company is, under the provisions of this law, kept elsewhere than at the registered office of the company, the address of the place where it is kept. d. all such particulars with respect to the persons who at the date of the return are the directors of the company and any person who at the date is secretary of the company as of by this law required to be contained with respect to directors and the secretary respectively in the register of directors and secretaries of a company, provided that the company need not make a return under this subsection either in the year of its incorporation or, if it is not required by section 125 to hold an annual general meeting during the following year, in that year. Time for completion of annual return. The annual return must be completed within 42 days after the annual general meeting for the year, whether or not that meeting is the first or only ordinary general meeting, or the first or only general meeting, of the company in the year, and the company must forthwith forward to the registrar of companies a copy signed both by a director and by the secretary of the company. If a company fails to comply with this section, the company and every officer of the company who is in default shall commit a criminal offence, and, on conviction thereof shall be liable to a default fine. Documents to be annexed to the annual return. The following shall be annexed to the annual return. A. Copies of all documents presented to the general meeting of the company. B. The return, report, and, where appropriate, the consolidated return on payments to governments under paragraph 1 of regulation 12 for reports on payments to governments. Any optional statements presented by the company and the director's report are not mandatory to be annexed only if a copy is available to the public. The Department of Registrar of Companies and Official Receiver is responsible for keeping the database with the Register of Companies, Partnerships, Business Names, Trademarks, Patents and Industrial Designs and is also responsible for administering properties of insolvent legal and natural persons. The organization and name search service offers the possibility to search in the list of registered organizations and names to see whether someone is on this list or not. Simply enter the name or the registration number in the Department of Registrar of Companies and Official Receiver website here. In January 1993, Frontier controls on the movement of goods between EU member states were abolished and importers and exporters in EU trade no longer were required to complete customs documentation. Therefore, in order to fill the gap that was created concerning the collection of statistical information, the EU introduced a system known as Intrastat. The system was designed to ensure that statistics of internal EU trade could be collected in a way which would maintain the quality of the statistics and the timeliness of their collection. The system places obligation on traders to submit periodic declarations of their trade. The interest at returns are submitted to the VAT service each month and concern arrivals from, as well as dispatches to other member states. As from the 1st of May 2004, each VAT registered person who supplies goods to or and receives goods from other member states, the value of which is exceeding the statistical threshold, is obliged to submit the interest at return for arrivals as well as dispatches to the VAT service each month. The submission of all interest at forms is done electronically. Access to the system can be done through the governmental web page. In order to register for the system you can use the Taxis Net 01 interest at application for registration, click here to see the PDF file. Delays. If a company fails to provide on time the annual return, the company and every officer of the company who is in default shall be liable to a default fine. 
for interest at declarations of periods until 31 December 2009, if a person fails to comply, this person is liable to a penalty of 8 euros, 8 euros, for each working day of non-compliance, the maximum being 30 working days. As from 1 January 2010, if a person fails to comply, this person is liable to a penalty of 15 euros, 15 euros. Non-compliance that continues after the 30 working days constitutes a criminal offence and a convicted person may incur an additional fine of up to €2,562, €2,562. Contents and form of annual return The sixth schedule of CAP 113 contains the contents and form of annual return of a company having a share capital. You can see them in the presented table. Business Documentation All business entities have to keep an archive of the business documentation. What must be kept permanently? Annual returns, payrolls and all documentation related to the calculation of salaries, audit of financial accounts, employment contracts, payment proofing of social insurances and other contribution funds, invoices receipts, receivables and payables, what must be kept for at least 20 years? Contracts and accounts for the purchase and sale of real estate. Fixed assets register. Complete documentation of bookkeeping events, issued invoices, invoices received, contracts for the purchase and sale of short-term financial investments and hire of short-term loans, transaction accounts, accounts. It is recommended that foreign investors leave the preparation of reports to experts from accounting services who have the knowledge and experience in presenting all the specific data required in the reports.